so traveling from the Tugashi camp to the Tali camp today that's the going to be the second camp that we are going to move to today it's a three kilometer tack and they say that it's easier than yesterday yesterday I did some Milky Way shots I, as you can know it's completely dark night so we cannot do any videos of that but I got amazing shots of Milky Way I did a few panels of Milky Way and then I did a time lapse so for the time lapse I did take a lot of pictures and my battery died after taking 500 pictures so probably I'll do a small time lapse movie and also use the same pictures to get, take a star trade. And the good part is the Milky Way is in the middle of it. So let's hope I get a good picture out of that. But I'm very excited to see what I get. up a little we moved out from the first camp to Gashi camp at 8.30 and expect to go to the second camp and reach there by yeah 11 or so but let's see so we have got snow now the snow line probably has started uh, this is the second day of the trek so we are going to the Tali camp it's right about the corner now we have uh, trekked around two and a half kilometers and around 500 meters left so far it looks good our donkey carriages have passed us so we were waiting for them to carry on ahead of us so if you can see on that side we have the Hathi Gora the snow covered peaks Hathi Gora I'm not sure what that is which is next to it and then behind these trees we'll have as i've shown you earlier we have the uh, dronagiri we will go for a climatization walk uh, after we reach tali top we'll take some rest it's about 10 25 now we should be there by 11 and uh, we'll rest for some time and then we'll go to tali lake which is a little bit higher than where we are at because uh, we will camp in the meadows it will be shadow all the time and uh, what the guide says is it's going to be cold really cold yesterday was around three degrees maybe less i took some pictures at around 132 in night and it was very cold i have got warmers uh, those chemical ones I've stuck them in my chest I stuck them in my gloves so that's how I somewhat managed but uh, it's pretty cold so this is my first trek so hopefully I'll have good pictures to show for it yesterday I think I took really nice pictures and then I think today also I will try to take the Milky Way but maybe later in the night uh, towards the morning side because uh, because mol like Milky Way uh, why when it rises it stays right at the uh, right at the ledge of the mountains and I do not have a clear viewpoint from my campsite and I cannot I do not want to travel too far from my campsite at night they have got bears here so it's, it's tricky at the same time, uh, I do want to take a picture of the Milky Way again tonight. Uh, maybe a different way, probably. I'll have to check out when I see the spot. And I'll surely find some way of taking a Milky Way shot or a star trail. Today, we'll have some rest and tomorrow is a very long trek. It's around 7 kilometers up, 7 kilometers down from the Kuari Pass. It's not the summit, it's a pass. Although I think because of snow it is going to be tough. 
so let's see what happens so tomorrow we are traveling me i think light i'm still figuring out what to carry i might take my dslr maybe a wide lens maybe the 50 mm i might not carry the long lens but maybe i would you never know and uh, maybe not the filter set i might not carry the filter set i'll have the remote trigger i'll have the tripod and that's about it yes few water bottles and that should be it that should be it would love to come here uh, maybe with a smaller group on our own and maybe stay here for a few days maybe two days each camp and really explore the place it has got so much potential i'm really ashamed that you know i could not take all of those even while a trek through the jungle that you see here we have got streams moss covered stones moss covered trees and those are like big trees i really wanted to capture those and there is a filtered light and dappled light that's seeping down through the forest it was really creating the scene but our track leaders just won't let us stop anyway on and ahead now so i'll check back with you when i reach the campsite and maybe on the tali top also i i think i heard that in tali top there is a lake i might take few pictures there let's hope those are good yesterday i want to take few pictures uh, in one of these meadows but i did not take the camera i did not think that it will be nice enough i really regret that i wish we could we could go the same route because i missed that place is that got flowering plants it has got a lone tree and with a backdrop of the mountains it was really awesome good to see a lot of snow here that means we'll get to see good amount of snow in the quarry pass that's both a good thing and a worry because with snow if you have bad weather then it's really tough to track those routes but with good weather if you have snow like this I think it will be awesome. We have got gaiters for our feet so that the snow doesn't seep in. But I think it will be overall good. This looks really very promising. Not sure where are my friends. Which route they took, but I'll make mine. So you see, it's completely snow covered. You have some vegetation here, as this is the month of March. But I think the snow will melt away very soon. The only difficulty for that is it will be a slush. So 
also not in leather. I like what this is done to the tree here. It's completely hollowed. And as you can see, it's like hollow. Here's snow on the bottom. And it's burnt all the way to up. But let's move on. So we have ice starting up. This is really white snow. I really love it. This is the first one and it seems there will be more ahead. Let's move on. I'm pretty sure I'll take a picture here. But I don't know if I can get a good composition. But let's see. Can't beat that view, right? Doing a climatization trek. We are light on the load today. So tomorrow we are doing the Kawari Pass trek. But before we do that, we came to the Tali uh, point. Point or lake, I don't know. So Tali means a lake, so it's there, it's on that side. So I've taken a few panels here because uh, we have quite a bit of mountain chain going on. So it's really awesome. I would love to come here in the morning, but it seems that uh, we have to need a guide, which I don't have. That uh, peak that you see, that is Nanda Devi, this is Dronagiri. These two are the you know badass peaks Nanda Devi is the second highest peak in India I think that's what we came to see 